Hey guys, unfortunately, I'm not here today because I'm in a meeting, so you can feel sorry for me while I'm sitting in a meeting. So, since I'm not here, I'm going to teach you your lesson on a YouTube video. But before we start, we need to review a few things. Um, you have to remember Pythagorean Theorem. So remember that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If you know the hypotenuse, do you remember what to do? I hope you said subtract. And if you don't know the hypotenuse, do you remember what to do? I hope you said add. Um, you have a notes page, but you might want to make a note of your 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90 triangles if you've forgotten those. So on the 45, 45, 90 triangle, remember the legs are the same. And the hypotenuse is the leg times, do you remember? times radical 2. I would remember radical 2 because there's two 45s. So if you know the hypotenuse to go backwards, you have to divide by radical 2. On a 30, 60, 90, 30, 60, everything revolves around the short leg. The hypotenuse is times 2. The long leg is times radical 3. So I remember 1, 2, radical 3. If you have to go backwards from the hypotenuse, you divide by 2. If you have to go backwards from the long leg, divide by radical 3. So hopefully you remember that. You could always use trigonometry if you remember that better. Um, Sokotoa. I bet you know what I was thinking about in my mind as I was writing that. Um, but anyway, so don't forget your Sokotoa. If x is up high, multiply. If x is down low, um, divide. All right, to the lesson. So today we're gonna to talk about area of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. So first we have a trapezoid. Now I know on your notes page your trapezoid is upside down, so just wait a minute. I have a better picture um, of the area formula of a trapezoid in just a minute. So you can just wait a minute to fill out the trapezoid one. The area of a trapezoid is one half the height, the height, times base one plus base two. And the bases are the two sides that are parallel to each other. So those two would always be the bases. The other two sides on a trapezoid are never parallel. So those are the bases. Um, area of a rhombus and kite, you can write on your notes page. Um, on the rhombus, you might wanna go ahead and draw in the diagonals. Area of a rhombus and a kite is one half D1 times D2. One half D1 times D2. Sorry, like what the heck's a D? Well, a D is a diagonal. So this diagonal times this diagonal. So it's the whole diagonal. Same with on a kite. This diagonal times this diagonal. And then don't forget to divide by two. So basically you just multiply the diagonals, divide by two. So that one's pretty easy. All right, go to your trapezoid picture. So this is the one that's upside down. So you can fill this in. So label the top one base one, the bottom base two, and then try to draw in the height and label that the height. The two sides that are not parallel to each other, those are called the legs. If you wanna label them, you can, you don't have to. But the area formula of any trapezoid, area formula, is half the height, the height is the distance between the bases always, times base one plus base two. So you add your bases together, multiply by the height, divide it by two at the end if you want. Or you could just take half the height and then multiply that times the two bases added together. All right, let's try some examples. So this one's nice, I already have the height and I have the two bases. So area of a trapezoid is half the height times base one plus base two. So area of this trapezoid, half the height times base one plus base two. So half of six is three. So three times 16, because six plus 10 is 16. Three times 16 is 48. So that area is 48 centimeters squared. All right, let's look at this one. 
So half the height, I see my height is five. The height, remember, is the distance between the bases. So half the height times base one plus base two. So base one and base two is 18. Um, you could take half of five and do 2.5 times 18, or you could do five times 18, which is 90, and then divide by two at the end. It doesn't matter. So it's 45 centimeters squared. Okay, this one's kind of weird. Um, I do know that this base is 13, so my trapezoids turn sideways. So remember, the bases are the sides that are parallel to each other. So this base is 13. I need to figure out that base. I also know the height. The height's 15. So I have one half the height times base one plus I have to figure out base two. Well, if this length is 13, do you know what this length would be? 13. Then, do you see this 45, 45, 90 triangle? And remember, on 45, 45, 90 triangles, what do you know about the legs? They're the same. So if this is 15, this would be 15. So this entire base would be 9 plus 13 plus 15, which is 37. So that whole base is 37. So 37 is my other base. So I can do 1 half of 15 times 13 plus 37. I just typed it all in my calculator. I don't know if you can see. Typed it all in my calculator. Hit enter 375 inches squared. All right, let's look at this one. So I know this base is 9. I don't know the other base. And do I know my height? Do you know what this length would be? Do you see how this length is 4? That makes this length 4. Alright, so this piece, actually I don't know this whole base because I only know this piece is 9. So this little piece is 9, which means this base is 9. Now I need to figure out this piece right here. Lights went off, let me try to, when I'm the only one in here and nobody's moving, the lights go off, sorry. Okay. So I need to figure out this piece. Well, look at this triangle. Anytime you know two sides of a right triangle, you can always do Pythagorean theorem to find the other side. But this is a triple. Do you remember it? It's a three, four, five. So now I know this is three. So now I have both bases. Nine, 12, height's four. So one half the height times base one, plus base two. So half the height, um, so half the height is two times 21, so 42 feet squared. What do you guys think? Is it hard? All right, let's try this last example right here. Now I know this entire base is 14. I don't know this base, and I might know my height. Do I know my height? I do. It's 8. I'm going to draw this in, though, too. So this is 8. I need to figure out this other base. Well, again, do you see this right triangle here? Anytime you know two sides of a right triangle, you can always do Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. So I need to figure out this side. This is also a triple. I don't know if you remember it. It's a 6, 8, 10. If you did not remember that, you know the hypotenuse, so you would subtract 10 squared minus 8 squared, and you would get 6. Okay, so this entire length is 14, and this piece is 6. So 14 minus 6 is 8, so I know that length is 8. Let's going to make that a square in there. Hmm. All right. Area of a trapezoid is half the height times base 1 plus base 2, which is just 14. So half of 8 times 8 plus 14, and I got 88 feet squared. By the way, if you ever forgot the feet squared, I would not count it wrong, so don't stress out about that. Okay, moving along.
Um, a rhombus and a kite. Area of a rhombus and a kite is one half d1 times d2. So remember, on a rhombus, all four sides are equal. The diagonals bisect each other, and diagonals are perpendicular. So on rhombuses, you have to remember that the diagonals, try to draw a rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular, so those are all right angles, which means you could possibly have to do um, Pythagorean theorem, or even 36 to 90 or 45, 45, 90 triangles. Um, kite, same way. Diagonals are perpendicular, so you have those right angles in there. Um, no sides are parallel on a kite. These two sides equal each other, and those two sides equal each other. So the formula is 1 half D1 times D2, so multiply the diagonals and divide by 2. So let's try some. Okay. Um, do I have examples? Oh, I think I clicked too far. Sorry. Okay, so all you do is multiply the diagonals and divide by 2. So this diagonal is 7, this diagonal is 12. So just do 7 times 12 and divide by 2. You get 42 feet squared. So it's 1 half 7 times 12. Okay, this is a rhombus. Diagonals bisect each other. So if you know this is 7, what do you think this length is? It would be 7, which would make that entire diagonal 14. If this is 9, this would be 9, which would make that entire diagonal 18. So it would be 1 half 14 times 18. 1 half 14 times 18. And I got 126 inches squared. This is another kite. Just multiply the diagonals and divide by 2. So this diagonal is 9, this diagonal is 13, so 1 half, 9 times 13, 9 times 13, divide by 2, 58.5 feet squared. This is another kite. Um, what is the length of that entire diagonal? 8 plus 8 is 16, so that would be 16. What's the length of this entire diagonal? 8 plus 2 is 10, so that would be 10. So it's 1 half, 16 times 10. 16 times 10 is 160, divided by 2, 80 inches squared. Now I know for sure this one's on your assignment. Um, I know that this length is 40, and on a rhombus, diagonals bisect each other, so this would be 40. The problem is, I don't know this diagonal. So I know this diagonal is 80, I need to figure out this diagonal. But this is a right triangle. So you can do Pythagorean theorem to find this piece, or this is a triple. It's a 3, 4, 5. So this would be a 30, 40, 50. So this is 30, which makes this 30. So this diagonal is 60. This diagonal is 80. So 1 half 60 times 80. Um, 60 times 80 divided by 2 is 2,400 inches squared. And I know that one's on your assignment. All right. All right, so just a review of all the area formulas we've learned so far. We learned some yesterday. Um, a parallelogram is just base times height. Triangle is 1 half base times height, or base times height divided by 2. Areas of trapezoids half the height times base one plus base two. Area of rhombuses and kites is one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So, since spring is in the air, this is a little spring joke. Oh look, the first robin of spring. Technically the second, because the, bird, the cat ate the bird. So mean, cats are so mean, they eat birds. It's sad. And then I thought this one was funny. Um, you guys might be able to relate. So he's like, look, honey, I just got a new phone. What a coincidence. I got a new boyfriend. He's still playing on his phone. Did you say something? I thought that was funny. Anyway, that's the end of my lesson. I will work some problems um, from your homework on the next video. But I promised one of my students that I would do a little dance for you guys. So I'm going to be silly and do a little dance. So here's one of my Zumba dance. Okay, here we go.
enough of my silly dancing. I miss you guys. I love you. Be good for the sub. Do the best you can. If you have questions on your homework, you can ask me tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.